When Donald Trump was arraigned yesterday, Lindsey Graham actually went on to Fox News and cried and begged people for money. I'm sorry I'm so upset, but please help President Trump. If you can fi afford five or 10 bucks, if you can't afford a dollar, fine, just pray. Make sure you vote as early as you can in your state. Don't risk anything anymore. Vote as soon as you can. Pray for this country, pray for this president. And if you got any money to give, give it. LindseyGraham.com, it doesn't go to me. It goes to helping this president and taking back the Senate. Now, shockingly enough, this wasn't the only time this had happened this week. As a matter of fact, when Alvin Bragg, the Manhattan DA, announced the indictment, Lindsey Graham went on to Fox News and cried. How do you do it? You take a, well, if, if you got a pile of crap and you chop it up 34 times, it's still a pile of crap. It's duplicious charging. They're trying to smear the guy. They're trying to take cases that nobody else would take and resurrect them. This is literally legal voodoo. Lindsey Graham's crocodile tears there, of course, is a sad, pathetic appeal to Donald Trump's base because half of them think that Lindsey Graham is a rhino. Half of them have no respect for Lindsey Graham. He was one of the first people who spoke out against Donald Trump when he announced he was running for president, when Lindsey Graham tweeted that uh, if they choose Donald Trump, uh, they will defeat themselves, they will destroy themselves, and they will deserve it. And ever since then, it's been really hard for Lindsey Graham uh, in the Republican Party. Now... You have him crying on Fox News because Donald Trump was indicted. Pathetic. Marco Rubio also responded uh, to the arraignment yesterday. Let's watch that. Put aside for a moment whether you like Trump or not like him, whether you're for him or not for him. Today is a bad day for all of us. Today, American politics crosses a line that it's never going to come back from. After today, after today, especially on the basis of how ridiculous these charges are, after today, every... A bunt prosecutor in America that wants to make a name for themselves now is going to have permission to basically go after someone in the other party. What's going to stop some Republican or conservative prosecutor now from saying, well, now I'm going to go after Joe Biden or his family or Bill Clinton or Hillary Clinton or Nancy Pelosi, whoever? What's going to stop them? Nothing's going to stop them because today we set a new normal. Today we set the new normal that if you really want to take someone down, nothing should stop you. You should be able to manipulate the law any way you want to charge someone. And what really is damaging is that the charges here are absurd. You're talking about a misdemeanor, if proven, a misdemeanor that had a statute of limitation that expired. So this prosecutor has decided to link it to a federal charge, election law charge, that the federal government decided not to pursue. And all of it built on the testimony of a convicted liar, of a convicted liar. And so people see this for what it is. It's political, but it's more than just political. It's poison to our country. It will permanently change politics in America forever. We are going to regret this day, whether you like Trump or not, we are gonna regret this day for a very long time. We are setting a new normal, a damaging new normal, that is going to disfigure American politics and put us on a destructive road. We are gonna regret this day for a very, very long time. That's Marco Rubio there, taking some time off from the golf course to talk about the indictment. Uh, and he really wants to know what's gonna stop future political prosecutions from taking place. And all, all I can say, Marco, is um, the, the facts, uh, the evidence, uh, witness testimonies, like all the things you need to put together a case. And he also makes the point, well, this could happen to any Democrat or Republican. Now we've reached the turning point. And it's like, well, wait, so why, why hasn't this happened to you? or Lindsay, or Hillary, or Joe, or Barack? Why, why hasn't it happened? If this, if this can just happen, why hasn't it happened yet? And it's almost like he's completely full of shit. So you have Marco Rubio just, you know, in his car, just so worried about the future of our country, but not really. You have Lindsey Graham crying on Fox News. Lindsey Graham, guys, he's just completely devastated. But you know, you know who's not? crying on uh, national news or recording videos in his car, this guy.